Ooh, four. I mean, four is a nice number. I really like four. It's like four more than one, but it's still one less than what I'd really like, which is five. Five? Ooh, five. Ladies, gentlemen, and pals of all ages, when it comes to Pal World, there are so many things to do, and one of the sort of unsung heroes of it all is the base work and automation functions. Early game, you spend a lot of time generating your own resources just so you can craft the basic items that you need to survive, but as you level up a bit and get a collection of pals, so many of those resources can just be straight up automated through the use of these pals in your base. We've talked a fair bit about this process and concept before, but now it just gets even better. Every pal that you have work on your base has work suitability skills. Some will only have one, some will have multiple, and the ranks of these that you can find on pals by default is anywhere from level one at the low end to level four, unless they just don't have the skill at all, with each level being a pretty noticeable improvement over the last as far as actual effectiveness. However, there is actually another rank, fifth level work suitability. This does not happen naturally on any pal in the game, but it can be created in one specific way, which is using the pal essence condenser. This item is unlockable pretty early on, but the actual requirements of using it are pretty meaty, with a full 0 to 4 star condensing require you to have a whopping 116 pals you're willing to throw into the grinder just to make one more powerful. We've talked about the various uses of this item and this function before in relation to combat, but today we are talking about a special interaction with base work, which is that at 4 stars of essence condensing, every pal in the game goes up one rank in all of their work suitabilities, with a specific subset of these being able to go from level 4 as their default to the legendary level 5 work skill, simply the best of the best in the game. What we're going to go over then in particular are the best pals capable of hitting level 5 for each different work suitability skill through this method, as well as running a pretty clear test to show how big of a difference level 5 work suitability actually makes compared to level 4, so you know just how worth it it might be, as well as then just taking a bit of time to talk about how to breed speedily as the best way to actually collect the 116 members of each of these species needed to make the whole thing happen. Starting off with the breeding process first and foremost, as it applies to every pal on the list, of course, ideally you want two of your target species, one of each gender that you can breed together. Big ups if they have the artisan or similar passive skills that boost work efficiency, but because we are only actually using one of these massive piles of pal at the end, the chances of just getting a mutation of one of those naturally are a lot higher than you might think along the way anyways. So regardless, you're likely to have at least one pal at the end with at least artisan that you can funnel the rest into for the level 5 work suitability. As far as speed breeding then, you want to set yourself up a base purely for this purpose as it takes up quite a bit of space to do so. You can easily fit four breeding farms in a base circle on ground level around the box if you place them around the edges, or if you build a second floor on your base at minimum three walls high and three squares wide as a staircase, all pals will be able to maneuver and you can make a sort of breeding skyscraper, but high structures can get pretty messy with the current pal routing and AI, so generally I recommend keeping it to the four ground level breeding farms unless you really want to personally fix the pals anytime they glitch out. That said, I cannot express how much more efficient it is to have up to 10 sets of parents breeding simultaneously compared to two or three sets. To set this up then, your first pair of parents get set up in one farm. They produce offspring, and once they have made a male and a female, stick those two pals in another breeding farm. Continue this until you have four or even more groups all breeding simultaneously for super efficient breeding. Here, I've got nine groups running at the same time, and the one thing to be careful of here is to never make a parent breed with one of their own offspring. It's not necessarily a negative in itself, but it does run the chance of them making a whole separate species instead of what you would normally expect, whereas that will never happen if you don't make a parent breed with an offspring. So make a load of breeding farms, slowly build it up so that each one is full of various species that you're after, then you just need a buttload of cake. For that, you need a ranch with Chicopee, who spawns in these areas, who will make eggs at the ranch, Mozzarina, who makes milk and will spawn in these areas, and then Bee Guard, who is difficult to catch in the wild, so I recommend instead actually breeding for it, using the combination of Tansy, who spawn in a lot of low-level areas, as well as Malpaca, who also spawn in low-level areas. Then you need simple berry plantations for your berries, and wheat plantations for wheat, which you then stick into the mill to make a flour. If you automate all these processes, all that's left is then cooking the cake in the cooking pot, and a nice high-level kitchen. Kindling Pal will help a lot for that, and of course, level 5 Kindling is on the list we'll be talking about today. With that covered then, before we dive into the specific Pals of Note, let's explain why you may or may not even want to go towards this goal in the first place by running a pretty good test. A fun test, a sort of race, honestly, which is the most accurate test that I could think of for this to properly compare the difference between level 4 work suitability and level 5. Given that the process to boost it up is so intensive, I thought it would probably be wise to see if it's actually truly worth the effort. So to put this race simply, I've got one level 5 electricity skill 
or Zerk, and one level four Electricity Seal or Zerk, both with multiple work speed boosting passives, but the exact same ones as each other, and so you can see their work speed stat itself is identical in the end, meaning the only difference is the pure power of level four to level five on the work skill. To make this somewhat fair, I have two empty Electricity Pylons set up next to each other. I manually assigned the level four Electricity or Zerk and threw it on a pylon, then threw the upgraded level five or Zerk afterwards out from my pocket as soon as I could. At the moment that the left pylon with the level five or Zerk hit 100%, the right pylon was right around 55%. Given the slight time discrepancy in placement, this is more likely to be closer to 50% if they start at the exact same time. So to put it simply, level five on a work suitability skill is 90 to 100% more effective, more efficient, faster, whatever word you want to use to describe it, it's nearly double. It is a massive, massive difference. And if you truly care about making the most efficient base possible, you probably should care about this whole ordeal. With all that said then, the comparison out of the way, let's dive into the list of every pal capable of hitting a level five work suitability with a disclaimer that I obviously haven't gone and done this with every single one of them. That would take a massive amount of time, but we know for a fact that the final condenser level raises every work suitability skill of a pal by one rank. This we have tested, which means any pal that has a level four work skill as a base has the potential to have one at level five. So some of these will say four, but that's just because I haven't condensed them yet. With that said, let's start with the level five kindling capable pal, which is Jormantide Ignis. He is found in Wildlife Sanctuary number two, just off the northern coast of the Volcano Island. Yes, there is a slight annoyance with Jormantide Ignis and regular Jormantide as well, being quite large, which makes it hard to make them do work skills sometimes, but this is the only path to level five for this work skill. So if you want level five, you need to make the base that you make work around the pals that you want to function within it, to put it simply. As mentioned before, ideally you will get at least one of these pals with Artisan and other work skills on it too, and that's the one that you want to condense into. Condensing is as simple as interacting with the condenser, picking the pal that you want to gain increased power, then picking all the pals to sacrifice and condense into the chosen one. And Jormantide Ignis is the one that would go to level five kindling through this process. Then we move on to the watering work suitability skill used for a ton of different things. And as you might expect, the only one that can hit level five watering is regular Jormantide. So nothing really different there. As far as finding Jormantide to begin with, there are two alpha world bosses versions in these locations on your map, or you can just breed into it as well. And even if you get the alphas, I'd recommend breeding the alphas down and using a non-alpha in your base just for the smaller size if you want it to actually function properly. Our next work suitability skill is planting, and the pal with default level four is actually Lyleen, who is the main one that I tested just to be certain that the final condenser is the work suitability of every work skill rather than just one, because as you see here, Lyleen has a ton of work skills and went from four planting, three handiwork, two gathering, and three medicine, up to five planting, four handiwork, three gathering, and four medicine. So literally all skills that a pal has access to go up a full level on that final condense. And Lyleen is the only one that hits level five planting in the game from this process too, on top of all that other goodness. The one awkward part of Lyleen is if you want to do the condensing process, you need a bit of luck to begin with, as Lyleen only have a 10% chance of spawning as a male, which means you probably want to breed your first few Lyleen from actually a combo of Moss Sanda and Battalia to get around this issue until you have a male Lyleen to work with. And if you want to catch Lyleen naturally, they are a rare spawn on Wildlife Sanctuary number three to the north. Then we have electricity, and we did spoil this a little bit earlier. The only pal capable of level five electricity is Orzerk, who also gets upgraded to have three handiwork and four transporting as well. To get this one in the wild, it is again a rare spawn on Wildlife Sanctuary number three, or you can breed it up earlier from a combination of Grizzbolt and Relaxaurus. After that is the handiwork suitability skill, and the pal capable of level five here is going to be Anubis, the pal that everyone loves around the base who can be bred from a surprising amount of early game combinations. And when fully condensed and essence up, he goes to level five handiwork, level four mining, and level three transporting, which is a pretty damn strong combination. You can get them naturally from this alpha world boss spawn location here around level 45, or again, you can do various earlier game combinations of breeding with the most consistent early game one that I've found being Relaxaurus with Celerate, both of which are available quite early on. Then we have gathering, and this is one of the less important work skills, mostly just being for harvesting crops from your plantations once they finish growing, but the pals that you are after here is actually Frostalian Noct, who has no other work suitability skills at all, and is not a findable pal in the wild in the first place, instead only being breedable through a specific combination of pals, which is Frostalian and Hell Zephyr. Then we move on to more resource-heavy skills, starting with Lumbering, your woodcutters, and there are actually no pals that spawn with level four Lumbering, which means that there are no pals capable of hitting level five Lumbering, even fully condensed. However, there are a handful capable of hitting level four once condensed, which is the best that you'll get currently. The two that I recommend the most are Wumpo and Wumpo Botan. 
either one of the two, who once fully condensed into have lumbering four, handiwork three, transporting five, so spoiler, these two are actually the answer to transporting level five, and then regular Wumpo ends with level three cooling too, with Bo Tan having level two planting instead. Wumpo is found on the Frosty Mountains, and Wumpo Bo Tan is available as an alpha world boss over here, as well as findable on Wildlife Sanctuary number two over by the volcano to the west. After that, we come to a lot of people's biggest concern with work skills, which is mining for taking care of all your rocks, your ore, your coal, all that stuff. And there are actually two completely separate pals that can reach level five mining, being Astagon, who spawns as an alpha world boss over here in the high 40s, but can be bred into a fair bit earlier, or Blazimut, who also spawns as an alpha world boss in the volcano, or as a general wild pal in wildlife sanctuary number three to the far northeast. The main difference between them then is that Blazimut, when fully condensed, also has level four kindling, if you want a mixed miner and kindler, whereas Astagon has handiwork two as a secondary, which means it has no actual natural distractions from pure mining unless you create them yourself. As for which of them is better, that depends on your goals based on what I just laid out there. Then we have medicine, which is purely for crafting medicine at the associated workbenches. There is no base level four medicine work suitability pals, which means there isn't a level five available in the game currently. But funnily enough, Lilin, who we already mentioned earlier for being level five planting, is the one that goes to level four medicine when fully upgraded. And then of course we come to the next category, which is transporting level five. And we already talked about this earlier when we were talking about lumbering and it's the Wumpos. Both of the Wumpos are level five transporters. Then finally we have cooling for all of your chili needs. And unsurprisingly, the pal that can reach level five in this skill is actually Frostallion. And on the off chance that you're watching this without knowing, Frostallion is the legendary pal that spawns as an alpha world boss in the far Northwest of the frozen mountain. And that pretty much does it everyone. All level five works suitability capable pals, the testing behind how much of a difference it makes for them to go from level four to level five, as well as the best quick methods that I can offer you for actually getting the process done. As even in the most efficient way of doing this, it's still a very time consuming process. But as you can see long term, it can absolutely be worth the effort. As again, level five seems to be a 90 to 100% efficiency bump over level four, which is of course massive, especially if you get that on multiple different pals. Hopefully this has helped you all out then, maybe you have some fresh goals for the weekend ahead, or maybe this will just help give you some ideas for how to enhance your own speed beating process. Like if you like the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. And most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world our stage Is, uh, goodbye